Hi, my name is Kamon Jeroge, the CEO and founder of Wing Farm Organization. I welcome to Wing Farm Demo Farm in Gilgamori Kiambu. Today, the Ban Ki-moon Center is here at the farm that trained Felix Atamba. It is called Wing Farm and it is an agroecological farm that is trying to engage youth to become more involved in farming. Our main vision is to create a world where no one goes to bed hungry. And to achieve this, one of the solutions is to promote agroecological practices and we are promoting it among the young people. With this farm, I've worked with them. Um, I've benefited from their training and uh, it's been a great opportunity that has exposed me. Uh, we don't use synthetic fertilizers, uh, we use animal manure. Agroecology is more than a farming practice. It involves community, it involves collaboration and it contributes to mitigation as much as it contributes to adaptation. Agroecology is actually an important concept which has actually gained popularity recently because of the issues related to food safety and food security and nutritional security aspects. So this side we have a bit of coriander, cilantro, dania, whichever name you choose. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where I come from, we have a lot of monkeys. And so the area has been very food insecure for the past 10 years. So adapting, we had to come up with ways of adapting to this climate change, like going to diversify our crops, whatever we grow on the farms. We no longer do maize. We now have to go back to the indigenous foods, which the monkeys are not able to feed on, and they're more resilient. Some of the practices which we have on this farm that are related to agroecology, I say is one aspect is soil health. So we're ensuring soil health by adding manure into our soils. We are reducing the amount of tillage practices we have, or if we are tilling, it's very minimal. We are also uh, doing uh, mixed cropping and intercropping, uh, whereby we won't find one crop spread across the whole farm, but we have different and they are sectioned, and this actually plays into managing of the pests and diseases. Also, since we have fruit trees, we are intercropping, uh, we have like the agroforestry maybe angle of things, even though it's not directly in a forest, but we're integrating both the trees and uh, vegetable production. We also have uh, various uh, mixtures which we have and prepare on the farm to be able to manage some of the pests uh, and the diseases which are on the farm. We came here with a crowd of policymakers, with youth agri-champions, but also with scientists. And what we really need is that all of these communities are communicating with each other and are learning from one another. And it's interesting to see that the scientists are still learning from the farmers as much as the farmers are learning from the scientists. We focus on agricultural adaptation at the Ban Ki-moon Center because mitigation gets lots of attention worldwide. Adaptation gets far less attention, let alone agriculture within adaptation. It's often an afterthought because very seldomly smallholder farmers have a seat at the table and are there when the actual big conferences are taking place. So we, as Ban Ki-moon Center, focus on agricultural adaptation because we want to give a voice to smallholder farmers. We want to showcase practices that are climate resilient, in tune with nature, and that help the farmers to create enough produce to not only sustain their own livelihood, but to actually be market ready and sell a surplus to a wider community. An advice I can give the youth is that let's all go agroecological way, it's easy. And if we want to redefine our food systems, uh, climate resilience and our rural economies, then agriculture is there because 70% of the population in Kenya, in Africa, are farmers. I believe everyone feeds from morning to evening. And so having more youths, because 60% of the world's population is actually youths, so we need to encourage more youths to pick up agriculture practices. This is through the whole food systems, from production to value addition, distribution. And I believe uh, we, are, we are more energetic, and we are the future, and the future is now.